What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to another video. Now this one today I'm honestly well quite excited about. One, because well, I love Uniqlo, that's a given at this rate. And two, well I'm a big fan of Kors, so this merging of two brands is honestly well the perfect collaboration. Now it's been a long while since the last collaboration between Kors and Uniqlo. In fact, a number of years actually. It's been since well, 2019, which is a long, long time which has also sort of made this drop feel a little bit more special. I don't know about that, but for you guys, but I feel like when I'm waiting a number of years, it just makes it feel a little bit more special once it eventually does drop. Now, I had to pick up a few items from this collaboration. As I said, I'm a big fan of both Uniqlo and Kors. Now, unfortunately, I was working the day of the drop, which meant, well, I couldn't get every piece I wanted, which unfortunately meant I missed out on the Kors book, which I was really excited about grabbing. And guys, Hold out hope because apparently there should be a restock of the book coming soon. My local Uniqlo store only got, well, three books, which is crazy. That's that's madness. So there should be a restock of that coming soon. And it also meant I, well, I didn't get any of the crew necks, which honestly, I didn't really think I wanted to keep anyways. I was more inclined to grab some of the t-shirts, something that I can wear just on a summer's day, throw it on, a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more wearable, especially with that summer Australian heat, which is coming in a few months, guys. With that being said, we're gonna jump in. We got three t-shirts to check out, which honestly was the only items I really wanted to pick up anyway. So it sort of worked out well, other than the art book. I'm gonna get that art book. And on a quick side note, before we get into the video, we officially hit 600 subscribers today, which was absolutely incredible. It feels like such a, a big milestone for me. And I know there's channels out there that have thousands and thousands of subscribers. However, it's been such a grind to go from like zero subscribers to 600, that sounds astronomic to me. So that being said, I wanted to celebrate. I want to thank you guys the best way I could think. And well, we're doing a video on Uniqlo and Kors. So I thought let's give away one of these t-shirts today. So, well, my favorite item from this collaboration, a little bit of a spoiler alert, I guess you could say, is the t-shirt I'm wearing now. So I will be giving this one away in a size large towards the end of the video. So if you're interested in that one, stick around. With that being said, let's get straight into the video and check out these items. Let's go. Now, getting straight into it, this is my favorite t-shirt. We're gonna start off with the banger. Technically, they're all pretty much bangers, but this one especially, I love. And that's just, well, due to the fact it's so simple in design. Now, I know a lot of this artwork is taken from one of his recent exhibitions, and I can tell it's been taken there for good reason, especially this design I know was featured quite a lot. And I especially like it, well, just because it's so simple, as I previously mentioned. You've got that little logo on the front there, just with the little cause figure. And I like that it's not too bold. However, once you turn around the piece, you've got that big graphic in that blue on the back. Personally, this is my favorite design, just for those two reasons. And I really do love that back graphic, especially with that blue merged with the white. It really, really works. Now, I don't know if you guys have known me very long or if you've been watching my videos, but I'm not a guy who wears white t-shirts. However, I think over the last few months, I've been evolving. I've been getting into different styles, different colors, especially white, because I normally stick away from white. And I honestly just love the way that this t-shirt looks. Personally, when I first looked at it online, I was like, man, I wish it came in a black, but I'm glad they stuck with the white. It, it sort of forced me to go out of my comfort zone here and pick out the white tee. And honestly, as I previously mentioned, it's my favorite piece. So big surprise here. Really, really love this garment, especially that graphic. I would say this is my first and we'll get into the second favorite in just a moment. But just a few details about this piece. Now I picked this up in a size extra large. For sizing reference, I am six foot tall, 182 centimeters, and I'm around 86 kilos in weight. Now I typically would wear a size large in all my items. However, with these Uniqlo items, I know they fit a little bit more true to size. And personally, I like a little bit of a roomier fit, a little bit more, I guess, boxy, a little bit oversized. And whilst it doesn't look too oversized or boxy here, as you can see, it just gives a little bit more of a, uh, a roomy fit, a little bit more flowy. So I would recommend if you're looking for a little bit more of a roomy fit, go one size up. However, these t-shirts do fit pretty true to size in nature. So if you're looking just for a regular fitting t-shirt, stick with your true size. And with that being said, the cotton is actually quite soft on this garment. It's, it's very flowy, it's very comfortable and as I previously mentioned, I want shirts for summer and I think this is the best that you can get, especially for the price point, like 25 bucks, you, you can't complain, especially getting a Uniqlo t-shirt and a Kors collaboration. It's, it's one and done. That's a great, great 
great price for this piece and I wouldn't really recommend spending resale unless you really really love these items because the quality the print I feel like is perfect at $25 Australian at least that's what I paid however I wouldn't really go above that anyways so that being said let's check out the next t-shirt now getting into the next item as you can see just to the left of me there we've got the cause Uniqlo t-shirt in that black and what I really do love about this piece and as I said, I previously liked this one because it's a little bit more simple. This one is bold, it's in your face, it's saying, hey, this is a cause collaboration. And I don't think that's necessarily like a bad thing or anything. Personally, I like a little bit more simplistic logos on the front of my t-shirts. However, I really do like that it's just, it's a statement piece. It's a cause Uniqlo t-shirt. And of course, you've got that big cause graphic, which is very reminiscent of the old sort of cause t-shirts that dropped at Uniqlo, which I really do like. I think the black colorway definitely suits this t-shirt best, especially with that design. And honestly, it's just a great t-shirt. Spinning it round, you have just got a little minute detail at the top of the tee, which is the two X's for the cause eyes, which I think looks well great, as I mentioned. Now, this is another great t-shirt. As you can see on body, it, it looks and fits quite well in that extra large. And personally, I just think that's a great design all around and well I just don't know what else really to say about this item I once I say the sizing the fit and quality as I did on the last t-shirt it doesn't vary item to item they're all pretty much lightweight comfortable fit a little bit more true to size they're not really oversized or anything like that and if you guys are trying to compare these t-shirts to well other Uniqlo t-shirts I would recommend comparing it to the Supima cotton these aren't the heavyweight t-shirts nor the Aerism they are that Supima blend which means it's well very soft, very flowy, a little bit more true to size in fit. And overall, I just think it looks great. So let's move on to the next item. Now getting into the final garment, the third t-shirt. Basically I've done this in range of, well, favorite to least favorite. And when I say least favorite, it's because, well, it's not a bad design. I just think it's a little bit less wearable, at least for me. And that's because, well, it's a mix of white and pink. And I don't really know how to style that at least into my wardrobe. However, I actually really do enjoy the graphic on this one. Personally, I would say this might be my favorite front like graphic, I guess you could say. I really do like just the X's and that was one of my favorite details on the black t-shirt on the back. However, you've got it placed on the front of this t-shirt, which I think looks great. Of course, you've got it in that pink graphic, which I think it actually complements the shirt quite well. As I said, I'm just gonna have to sort of figure out how to actually style it, which will be my main concern. But regardless, in terms of the actual t-shirt, the graphic, I really do like it. And this one was like a little bit of an odd one for me because when I saw it online, I was like, man, no, I'm not getting that one because I don't know how I'm gonna style it. I don't know how I'm gonna wear it. However, once I went in store, man, I really like the graphic in hand. And, and personally, I just think it really does work for the design. And of course, spinning the graphic around, you have got that cause figure laying down right there in that pink and black and sort of white mix, which I think it looks great. I love the design of it. As I said, I'm gonna have to work this into some sort of outfit. I might have to pick up some, well, pink shoes or something, do a little bit of a color match combo, something like that. But regardless, this is the third and final t-shirt for today's video. And I really do like this item. Guys, I would recommend if you're thinking about picking up anything from the, well, Uniqlo and Calls collaboration, the t-shirts are the best pieces. And well, I might be a little bit biased because I don't have the crew neck in hand, so I can't really compare. But I think just the t-shirts in general, they're very comfortable. And of course, if you want a bit of a roomy fit like I do, size up and they fit great. Personally, I just don't think there's really much else to say than if you like Uniqlo, if you like Calls, this is the collaboration for you guys. Now, as I said, I'm gonna give away one of these t-shirts, which is the one I am wearing right now in a size large. So with that being said, you have three things to do if you wanna grab one of these t-shirts. For one, comment what was your favorite graphic from the Cause and Unico collaboration down below. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will be revealing the winner of this video in an upcoming video next week. So you've got a whole week to get your comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and of course, in one week's time in the next video, dropping the same day, one week in advance. That should pretty much be self-explanatory. I will reveal at the end of the video by doing a little spin the wheel and see who wins one of the t-shirts. And then of course, I'll contact you guys to get your address and send the t-shirt out from there. With that being said, guys, thank you again for 600 subscribers. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. I really do love making videos and I'm so passionate about it. And 
it just makes me so happy to see you guys enjoy the content as well. It just means, well, I'm just going to keep pumping out content for you guys. Hopefully, I'm getting a little bit better. Of course, we've got the studio behind me now, which was a, a big improvement in the quality, at least I think. And of course, we're going to have to decorate it, but that's all in due time. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it, evolve. But thank you for joining me for the journey, regardless. With that being said, guys, like today's video if you did enjoy. And of course, well, if you're looking to pick up that t-shirt and win, make sure to subscribe down below. Or if you just enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.